anniversary this year, which is quite a milestone, and we've been working on this for two years. I can't believe we're so close to it now. We're inviting back all the past winners to the event. It has changed, it hasn't changed. It's still the same great atmosphere and, and, and magnificent park. Courses have, have changed a bit, although there are still quite a few of the old features, capabilities cutting and uh, the, the water fences there. It's, uh, it's still, it's just a magic place to be. Well, it was my first big four star in 1967, and uh, I was, I think there was 40 of us, and I was 37th after the dressage, and 10th after the cross country, and 4th after the show jumping, so that was, um, that was a good initiation at, at Burley, and, um, and I was lucky enough to win it on a catch ride in 1973, then I was second a few times after that, but uh, only won it at once. Obviously winning it with Buckley's Province and Mr Smithy were two major highlights. It's you know, it's always a great place to go and compete at. It's a very high level of competition for our venting. Um, and it's got a, a lovely atmosphere at Burley. Without doubt, the win in 2006 with Headley Britannia, that was um, an unbelievable day, an un unbelievable week. And uh, that's a week at Burley that I will live with forever. I've actually been second there three times, so obviously I'd like to go one better. Um, but no, Burley's been a good place for me. Um, I think I first rode in Burley in 1979, and for me, I guess the one that stands out the most is uh, the Open European Championships that were held there. Um, I can't remember what year it was, but uh, it, was, it was the first and only time that the, they opened up the European Championships to non-European countries, and uh, I managed to win it on a horse called Broadcast News. And, it was, a, it was a true, proper four-star track, um, very strong field, very difficult competition, and so it was, it was absolutely brilliant to be able to win it. If I had to single out one particular event, it'd be 2003 when Pippa Funnel won the Grand Slam. There are other moments, I think when Mark Todd won the event, came first and second in the 1980s, and also in a strange way, 2008, when we had the most appalling weather. That was very memorable. You can hear the thunder now. Please hope that doesn't happen at the event. But we ran through it despite, and on Sunday night of the event, it was so satisfying. So every event's special.